Christmas. And, uh, Mike, what did you get for Christmas? My very own mom and dad. What more could a kid want? A computerized baseball game. Oh, yeah, I got <laughs> one of those, too, Jeremy. Steve gave me one also. Wow, no kidding. We can have our own World Series. Yeah. Well, that's great, but I tell you what, before the first inning, why don't you help with some of these packages, okay? Okay. There you go. Good, I get these. Thanks. Gee, I sure hope the kids here at the hospital get swell gifts like ours. Yeah. Okay, who wants to set the board, boardroom for the party? Who wants to I will. Me? Okay, let's I go. I do. Okay, okay listen, you on. guys go on ahead, and we'll catch up. Okay. Okay. Come on. Bye. Bye. Any uh, messages? Say no. Say no. Uh, not a thing. Very <laughs> busy. What about me? No, nothing for either one of you. And the uh, only message I have for you is... Why don't you relax and enjoy the children's Christmas party? Thank you. Where are Luke and Laura? Well, we're not quite sure. We think they might have a surprise cooked up for the kids. Mm. Mm -mm. Any ideas? No, and even I couldn't get it out of them. Yeah, she tried. <laughs> she oh, did she try? So I guess we're all just going to have to wait and find out at the same time. Hello, everyone. Sure. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, thanks, Christmas. Excuse me. Yeah. All right, so do you are you having a nice I'm Christmas so far? Are you spending Christmas with yeah. yeah. That's because every day is going to be a great day. Hey, are you two at it again? Are you going to stand there in my skirt and make fun of the newlyweds? Uh, I realize it's still your official honeymoon, so it's a-okay. <laughs> well, it may even get worse, kids, so watch out. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. Hello there. Hi. Uh -huh. It looks like a hundred presents. Congratulations, Dr. Hardy. Yeah, Mike and me and my mom hung up all the tinsel. Everything's wonderful, yeah. just wonderful. All we need yeah. now really are the children, right? Uh, not quiet, I think I've got more. Oh, Whoa, Joe. I was really fine until I got my foot stuck in the door. Oh, yeah? Well, you don't look too fine. Claudia and Ryan's job. Yeah, where are they? Oh, where, where are they? Are they? Oh, oh, they are. Oh, 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 Baby, don't worry. We brought it right to the car. All we need are the kids. Where are they? Okay, their job is that. Uh, Santa Dan Rudy. Oh, God. Oh, well, I have something to tell you. I think this year Santa Dan and Zach and Captain Ramsey have a very special surprise for all of us. Well, tell us. you Well, Christmas has changed from one year to the next. Oh, yeah, especially in your family, Rick. <laughs> yes, well, two weddings in a row will do that. Oh, we'll yeah. sign your son this year. Which yes. is just about the best change of all. And General Hospital is $10 million richer, thanks to Helena Cassidyne. Although we almost all froze to death, no thanks to Mikos. Well, right. thanks to Luke and Laura, we're okay. You see, somehow, somewhere, our circumstances always just get better. I don't know about that. Nothing's changed for the better in my life this year. Well, wait and see. Maybe this year will be your year, Annie. Bad chance that was Heather on the loose. Hey, has anybody seen Heather? Amy was saying that she was real excited about her first E.H. Christmas party. Uh, maybe that's her now. Bingo. Merry Christmas! Oh, yeah. Well, we just hurried all the way. Oh, we're we're so worried that we missed the children arriving. Well, your timing couldn't have been better. Bobby just went down to help Dan and, and Ramsey and Zach. Oh, good. Um, where's Scotty? I thought he would be with you, too. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, I was a little surprised myself that he didn't come. He always loved the, the party for kids. Well, Scotty is staying home hitting the books. That's Oh, but didn't anybody tell him it was Christmas? My son has become uh, a very dedicated young man. Yes, it seems he's really changing. Oh, I can't see it. to have a good time. Yeah! Oh, my God. Is that you? Leslie, if you are a true friend, you will throw me some reindeer food. I knew I forgot something. 
and I left the sugar cubes at home. I want you all to know that we're going to have plenty of fun and games and food and surprises. Oh, especially surprises. Yeah. deliriously happy. Yeah! All right, moving right along. I would like to bring from you, for you, and from the amazing place of magic called the Winter Palace. What? Did I hear someone say, where is the Winter Palace? Well, I have certainly heard of the, the Winter Palace. See there, magic already. The reindeer speaketh. Whoa! That's Rudolph! That is Rudolph. You're right. And guess what I got for you now? Because you are all so smart and believe in magic and bells and Rudolph, I bring to you from the Winter Palace the amazing and bizarre Bashur! Yeah! Thank you, boys and girls. Now, as I'm sure all of you know, every magician requires a beautiful assistant to help him with his act. And I think I have just the candidate. Laura, would you join me here, please? Give her a round of applause. Yeah! Laura, we're going to try a very simple piece of magic involving two colorful silk handkerchiefs. I'm going to ask that you hold these in your pretty little hand. Now, in addition to the green handkerchief and the purple handkerchief, I have an extra handkerchief. This one, a multicolored rainbow. I'm going to place this into my fist, Laura. I want you to watch this very carefully. But in order to make the magic happen, I'm going to need to borrow your magic wand. May I please? Of course. I wave the wand across my fist. And the handkerchief disappears. Whoa. Whoa. Now, of course, the question remains, where is the colorful handkerchief? The answer is it has traveled across the ether. Young lady, wave the wand over your hand. And as my wise young friend so cleverly pointed out, here is the handkerchief. Did you? Did you really like that? Yes, I like that. You like that? You're going to just love this. Here to perform amazing feats of mental telepathy and mind reading, we have the lovely Lucas and Tiffany. They are stupendous, horrendous, mind only. The first thing about mind reading is we knew you were sick of looking at him. Okay, now what we have, the amazing Tiffany will assist the amazing Lucas That's in me, reading y'all's mind. Okay, now number one, we are going to close my eyes. I will not look, and I will tell you exactly what color of scarf she is holding up. And... Uh, uh, yellow. Uh, orange. <laughs> yellow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I told you it was amazing. <laughs> And I think I found somebody whose name is Julie in the house. Are you Julie? That's my name. I thought so. And did you ask Santa Claus for a ballerina doll this year? He brought it to me, too. He did? How did you know that? I told you, baby. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. You cutie. And now, I also have another trick to tell you. Is there someone here named Russell who recently had a birthday? I'm Russell. Can you guess how old I was? That's a tough one. Can you help me, Tiffany? Oh, I think I can handle that. Let's see. 21. Nope. <gasps> oh. I'm seven. Close enough! Oh. Let's hear it for Tiffany! Tell me there is someone in the house who has recently discovered and become the new son of a couple of real fine people. 
Who could that be? Mike? Hey, that's me! Hey, that's you! <laughs> what do you mean, hey? Let's hear it for Mike! Yeah. All right, and now the most amazing feat of all, Margie. Margie? Oh, uh, Alice. Shirley. Uh, Jill! Yeah! yeah. That's your name! I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> hey, have a cookie, Jill. And now we'll move right along. How are you guys doing? Your name's George, right? You are right, sweetheart. Well, I'll take a cookie in. I just feel a little strange. What? Nothing. I'll be back in a minute. Amber. Amber! And you get two cookies for being Amber instead of Millicent. And uh, I bet you your name is... to close this magnificent act. I shall attempt the impossible. I shall attempt to read Santa's mind. Oh, come on. Nobody can read Santa's mind. Hey, pal, I didn't say it would be easy. <laughs> but I'm going to count on your entire concentration. Oh. All right, Santa? What are you thinking? No, 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 no. The question is, what are you thinking? Of course. I'll pay better attention. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that you are thinking about all the toys and the games and the gifts that you have to give all these children later. Ho, ho, ho! No one can put by anything on Lucas Lorenzo. Thank you, sir, and nobody will put anything over on Santa Claus. Hold on to your stitches and hold on to your ingrown toenails. I now present one more time the amazing and bizarre Badger. Yeah. Well, now, for my next piece of Leisure to Maine, I'm going to require again some qualified assistance. That was a terrific I think, act. Particular piece. I had a lot of fun. I will call yeah, upon Dr. Yeah. Hardy and his lovely wife. Laura, oh, would you please help me out? We're going to try something together here. I don't know. The psychic stuff starts to get to you after a while, I guess. I want you to watch this very carefully because I'm going to surprise you. Yay! Yay! Right. Simple blue. Dr. Weber! Dr. Weber! Sorry, sweetheart. Yes, I'm right here. Okay. The amazing Bajor is getting a bit old for this. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have the lungs he used to. The balloon goes inside of the mystical box. <gasps> Keep your eyes on the balloon, boys and girls. Don't take your eyes off it for a moment. Watch carefully. We say the extraordinary magic words, homogenize. Oh, 